The U.S. consumption of natural gas from 1965 to 1980 can be modeled by this polynomial. We're asked to evaluate f of 10 and interpret the result, graph the function in an appropriate window, and describe the energy usage during the time period, and C, determine the local extrema and interpret the results. So this is definitely a calculator exercise. We got that nasty polynomial. We, won't, we don't want to do anything by hand here. So let's go to the calculator. And actually, I'm going to graph it first. So my y1, I'll type in 0 0.0001234. X to the fourth minus zero point zero zero five six eight nine X to the third plus zero point zero eight seven nine two X to the second and then I can't remember if it's a plus or a minus there. It's a minus minus 0.5145x plus 1.514. Let me change my window settings. They recommend graphing from 6 uh, to 20 by 5s, and then 0.4 to 0.8 by point ones. All right, let's graph that. So here we have that graph in the suggested window. Uh, when typing this on, I forgot a couple of things. So they give us this model, and they they tell us what x equals six corresponds to the year. 1966, and what else they tell us? And consumption, so the consumption is in trillion cubic feet. All right, so we have this graph. And just looking at the graph, what I see is the consumption rose for several years, reached a local maximum, at least local, then decreased for a while, reached a minimum, and then increased again. All right, so now f of 10, part A. To evaluate f of 10, one thing that we can do here, since we already have the graph, hit the trace key and literally just type in 10. Notice it says x equals 10 at the bottom, and hit Enter. And so when x equals 10, we have 0 0.706. So f of 10 is 0 0.706. All right, so what does that tell us? Interpret the result. If x equals 6 corresponds to 1966, then x equals 10 would correspond to 1970. In 1970.706 trillion cubic feet of natural gas was consumed in the United States. I already answered part B verbally. Part C, determine the local extrema and interpret the results. All right, so in our calculator, we first see a maximum. So let me calculate that maximum. All right, so we use that command. We scroll near it. We hit Enter a little bit to the left of the maximum. We hit Enter a second time towards the right of the maximum. Go back towards the center and hit Enter a third time. And so that's at 11.56 and 0.731, let's say. So we have a maximum at 11.56 and a 7 point, er, 0.731. And let's calculate that minimum. So second calc, 
third option for the minimum. And again, we scroll to the right. Let's stay a little bit to the left of where we think the minimum is. Hit Enter once, move to the right of where we think the minimum is. Hit Enter a second time, move towards the middle, hit Enter a third time. And that's what 18.01 and 0.515. So interpretations of that might be, all right, so 11.56. So that would be the year 1971, 1972. Uh, let's just, since 0.56 is closer to 72, let's round up. So in 1972, consumption was at its maximum. at 0.731 trillion cubic feet. And then 18, that would be in 1988. Uh, no, it wouldn't. Let's see, 60 plus 18, 1978, excuse me. In 1978, consumption was at its minimum. at 0.515 trillion cubic feet.